YouTube mom Tiffany Beeston, aka Family Vloggers from the Beeston Family Vibes, is currently complaining about her dream home. She purchased the house two years ago and now she's completely unhappy with it. She's considering moving her family to the Bay and possibly homeschooling. Some people think the Beestons have overextended themselves and can no longer afford both homes. What do you think? So Tiffany's at her mom's house and she gives a tour of her mom's backyard. Before Tiffany got really big on YouTube, Tiffany used to post on social media about her mom coming over to watch the kids sometimes and her mom used to ask her for gas money. And Tiffany felt a little bit off about her mom asking for money to come over and watch her grandkids. I wish that we lived in a place where we could have stuff like this. She used to live in a house where she had a huge backyard. She could have planted some apple trees or whatever she wanted, but they sold that house because they wanted to upgrade, just like every YouTuber does. Well, she's got apples growing. She said none of this stuff grew last year, but it's all growing this year. So we've got apples growing. And she said they're red delicious apples. Is it just me or did those apples look green? They did not look like red delicious apples. I have no shoes on, so I'm trying to be careful right now. I never like to wear shoes. Um, grapes. What's this, Mom? Peaches. These are peaches that aren't ripe. These were blackberries. So beautiful. All this stuff makes me so happy. I honestly don't know why I live where I live. It's like... Tiffany Beeson bought a second home last year. She's carrying two house payments. That's not cheap. She bought a boat. That's not cheap. And her views have been down recently. So she's not making the same amount of money on YouTube that she used to make. But I'm sure she's making up for it in other areas because she is link crazy on Instagram. She posts links every day trying to get you guys to shop and spend your money so she can make money. That's essentially what influencers do. Anyways, in the last 30 days on YouTube, she's gotten around 900,000 views. She used to break a million views a month on YouTube. Not anymore. But she's still making around, you know, eight to $10,000 a month on YouTube, which is good money. That's a six figure income right there. But when you've upgraded and upgraded your life so much, they upgraded their car, they upgraded their home, they bought a second home, they bought a boat. Tiffany got a new car a few years ago. They remodeled their home, they finished their basement. They completely gutted and remodeled the kitchen at the Bay House. They remodeled their backyard. I mean, they've done so many upgrades. So all of these upgrades, all of these expenses add up. So Tiffany has to keep her income up to sustain the life that she has built. And if you can't keep your income up, what do you have to do? Well, you have to start selling stuff and downsizing. And we're seeing a lot of influencers doing that. Tara Henderson is the prime example. So since she's been complaining lately about her dream home, she's just not happy with it anymore. Some people think, they just can't afford the two houses. Or money is getting tight with the Beastons, and maybe they just can't afford the two houses and the boat and the car payment and all the other stuff they do. This is exactly what content creators do to prep their viewers for big changes. They'll start complaining about whatever the thing is they're gonna get rid of, and they'll start speaking about it in a negative way. And that's exactly what Tiffany has started doing about her dream home. Remember the video she made saying, this is my dream home. I love the bay so much and this type. So how do I get a bay and a farm combined and not be far from my family? Tiffany had a good sized backyard in her old house. Here's a clip, look at this. You could easily have a vegetable garden, a few apple trees back there, but she wasn't happy with this either. That would be a dream come true. But anyway, this is where my soul feels happiest is like in this type of environment, not where we currently live. This is Tiffany's current backyard, and they've spent so much money on this backyard, doing renovations, makeovers, they added a swing set, trampoline, they made over their deck. They also added an area down by the swing set. It has like a fire pit, furniture, so the parents can sit and watch the kids play on the swing set. I mean, it's a really nice backyard. But it just seems like content creators are never satisfied, right? And I don't know if they're never satisfied because they have to keep changing their life and upgrading their life and mixing things up so that they have content, so their content stays fresh. Or do you think they're really just unsatisfied with a lot of things? We were actually talking about like how we feel sad to go home. Like our heart feels like home is the bay. And like there's really nothing that feels grounding to where we 
currently live. Just last year, the Beastons were talking about how great the area is where they live because everybody gets together in the cul-de-sac, all the kids hang out and play together. But now her opinions have completely changed. She seems so unhappy where she currently lives. And we asked the kids, we're like, would you ever want to move to the Bay full time? And everyone said yes, except for the Bay House is the vacation house. Of course you want to move there. You know, you're not on your normal schedule. She doesn't even work out when she's at the Bay House. I don't really have any meals planned for today. We're kind of just winging it. We're at the, our Bay House, so we're not like in our normal routine. We're kind of into like the summer eating whatever tastes good. You know what I mean? The kids aren't in school at the Bay House. They don't have all the activities at the Bay House. I mean, that's the fun party house. I get really weird about moving because not that it's my mom's fault, but we moved around a lot when I was younger. I think she's trying to be nice here, but if you moved around a lot in your childhood, it's 100% your parents' fault. It is. If it's not your parents' fault, whose fault is it? The Tooth Fairy's fault? Because my parents divorced when I was two. Um, and I just didn't like starting a new school or any of that stuff. It like, I feel like that's why I have some like deep rooted anxiety issues. These gnats are crazy. So I get worried about the kids changing schools and I feel like it's super important for kids to have roots. All of her kids aren't even in school. What is she freaking out about? If you want to move, move now. Don't wait until your kids are in middle school or high school. It's so much worse to move when you're in middle or high school. I don't know. I, I love our Pennsylvania home. I'm getting eaten up right now but our heart doesn't feel there and I don't take moving lightly at all so I don't know what to do. Chris and I both agree like we all feel like genuinely like sad to be going home. Chris posted this at the end of their last video. I have 20 days to convince Tiff we should move to the bay full time. He also asked viewers to help convince Tiffany, so let's read a few comments. I feel like if you moved to the Bay, it wouldn't be as special if you live there all the time. What makes it special is that you can spend your summers there and make special memories. I'm with Tiff, kids need roots. The Bay House is filled with summer fun that comes along with living in a beach town. Back in Pennsylvania, you've created such a beautiful full-time home base. You have a lot more space with everyday structure, like school, dance, sports. I say keep living your best life with both houses. It seems like they've built a life in Pennsylvania that they just don't enjoy. They just don't enjoy the life they have there. I don't think it's necessarily the house. I think it's the life they created. Which just sounds weird because we have such a beautiful home and we love our community and stuff, but home feels more like the Bay. I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe we'll like test it out this year and see how winter feels being there at the Bay during the winter and stuff. And at the same time, like, is there anywhere near the bay where I can have stuff like this? Like, I, I mean, I kill everything. I can't even keep my sunflowers alive. But like, I would love to have this kind of set up with like growing my own fruits and veggies and having chickens. That all just sounds so amazing to me. Like, She's so confusing. She's so wishy-washy because in this video, she said this is the type of life she wants. She knows what she wants and she would love it. But in a recent Beauty and the Beast video, she said she would not be good at this kind of life. A big yard with like lots of fruits and veggies and animals and homeschooling. Like I love that life. I love that for other people when I see that and I'm just like, oh, that looks so amazing. But I just don't think that I would be good at it. Well, there's your answer. If you don't think you would be good at it, then don't do it. But Daddy Chris doesn't work. I mean, he films his kids every now and then and posts a YouTube video, but why can't he homeschool the kids? I hope they don't homeschool those kids because homeschooled kids just become like the focus of content. And these kids already have the camera shoved in their face so often. If they're homeschooled, it will just happen more and more and more. So that's my opinion. I wanna show you this clip of their child trying to talk Chris into going out to eat because he knows if they go out to eat, his dad will vlog it. Just listen, just watch the clip. Go out for dinner. Uh-oh, Chapin's in dad, the house. can we go out for dinner? So, well, dude. So you can record when we go out to eat. <laughs> this little boy knows how it works. He knows his parents and he's reminding his dad, hey, if we go out to dinner, dad, you can record us, you can vlog, and this is content for you. This kid understands and knows if he allows his dad to film him and use him for content, he gets to go out to eat.
or do other fun things. We've heard family vloggers say before, they only film on the days they actually do things. So they have to plan things to do in order to have content. Kids of influencers, kids who are used to being filmed and used for content, understand the game. They know how this works and they will use it to their advantage to get what they want. You know kids do this because they know their parents want content. So they'll be like, okay, you can film me if we go out to eat. Okay, you can film it if we go to Six Flags. Okay, you can film it if we go to Disney. So I think kids say okay to filming sometimes when they don't wanna film just because they want the experience of going out to eat, going to Disney, going to the park. And I think that's sad. I think it's crazy actually, because a child should get all of these experiences without having to give up their privacy. So if Tiffany decides to homeschool her kids, they will be used for content even more. The camera will be shoved in their face even more. She'll be doing homeschool day in the life, homeschool projects, you know, she'll have all kinds of content and these kids will be used for content even more. And I don't see that as a good thing. I will never see kids giving up privacy as a good thing. I don't care how much money you're making. Chris posted this on Instagram. This is a picture of their child holding a camera pretending to vlog. Chris said, my little vlogger. I think kids of influencers are groomed to be in front of the camera, to act a certain way, to do certain things, to act for the camera. So we have an entire generation of kids that wanna grow up and be just like their parents. They wanna be influencers and YouTubers. Also, I wanted to give you an update on this video I posted about a month ago about Tiffany Beeston's sister getting cheated on by her fiance. Well, Tiffany did like a whole video on their engagement party, so I covered it. A viewer said, looks like Tiffany deleted the DIY backyard engagement party video on her YouTube channel. So she deleted the video after I covered it, but she already got paid for that video. So she got the paycheck, I covered it, and then she decided to delete it. For more videos on Tiffany, check out my playlist. I'll link it at the end of this video. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.